survive and in this game players are going to be trying to survive during a zombie apocalypse but this game is nothing like i was expecting it to be because most games with this theme tend to be cooperative and tend to use basic action selection usually categorized as a ameritrash style of board game but this one is actually completely different than that first of all this one is competitive and secondly this one is actually a draw and write the way the game works is that each player is going to have their own personal base that they're going to be trying to build up and protect throughout the game. Each player does have a shroud that's going to be keeping their base secret from all the other players, but there will be a shared community board in the center of the table that each player is going to be sending their survivors out to go and scavenge and hopefully find even more survivors to bring back to their base. At the start of the game, there's going to be a bunch of different survivor cards put out on display, and players are going to be taking turns drafting a survivor into their base until each player has two survivors. Each of the survivors can have different special abilities, different weapons, as well as a different amount of resources that they are going to be granting you. The game then plays over a series of rounds where at the start of each round, players will be able to spend their resources in order to build structures on their base, and this will allow them to increase their defenses, improve morale, or even gain different benefits when it comes to healing or feeding your different characters. But another option you have at this point is to send out any or all of your survivors to go try and scavenge different locations out on the main community board. This is also going to cost a certain amount of resources depending on the number of survivors you're sending and the locations that you're trying to visit. Anytime you do this you're going to be drawing a scavenge card that can grant you with all sorts of different benefits like victory points or even a new survivor you can bring back to the base along with any of the resources that they have. The catch here is that each of these cards will also have a certain amount of zombies that you're going to have to fight and there are three different decks to choose from when you draw one of these cards each of three different difficulties. In order to determine whether or not your scavenge was a success, you're going to be adding up your character's total defense by combining the defense values of each of their weapons and then comparing it to the total number of zombies. If you have a defense equal or greater than the amount of zombies, then the scavenge was a success. But if not, each of your survivors is going to be gaining a wound token, and if any survivor ever gains three of those, then they are no longer among the living, and you're going to have to discard that card. The resources are hard to come by during a zombie apocalypse, and the safest place for those resources are, of course, in your belly. So any resources that aren't used at the end of the round are going to be discarded back into the bag. Not only that, but at the end of every round, all the players' bases are going to be attacked by hordes of zombies. And the way that this works is that an increasing amount of event cards are going to be drawn, telling you how many zombies and which side of your base they're going to be attacking. In order to defend from these attacks, you're going to be adding up the total defenses on that side of your base and then comparing it to the number of zombies. The nice thing here is that any of your survivors that you left at the base and didn't take out to the community board, they can actually be assigned to any side of your base, adding to that side's total defense. If the attack still gets through, then each of your survivors at the base are going to be gaining a wound token. But if you didn't leave any survivors at your base, or if you don't have any left, then instead the zombies are going to be attacking your base, destroying some of those structures that you spent your resources building. At the end of the round, it's the player with the most victory points that wins the game, and you're going to be gaining victory points for successful scavengers, maintaining a strong base, killing zombies, and for each survivor that you have at the end of the game, with them gaining you more victory points depending on how healthy and high morale they are. And then, of course, there are some shared goals that players will be racing for in order to get those additional victory points. If this one sounds interesting to you, you can go ahead and check it out, and I will have it linked in the description down below.